then Mommy kissed Daddy, and the angel told the stork, and the stork flew down from heaven and left a diamond under a leaf in the cabbage patch, and the diamond turned into a baby. Our parents are having a baby, too. They had sex. That's not true. It is so. Everyone knows it. When you have a new baby, one of the other children has to die. Which one? Well, they only need one boy. Pugsley, the baby weighs 10 pounds. The cannonball weighs 20 pounds. Which will hit the stone walkway first? The cannonball? Very good. But which one will bounce? The baby? There's only one way to find out. Ready? One, two, three. Why do you hate the baby? We don't hate him. We just want to play with him. Especially his head. Don't be a baby. I know what I'm doing. Children, we're starting. Put down that antenna. Is this made from real lemons? Yes. I only like all natural foods and beverages, organically grown with no preservatives. I'll buy a cup if you buy a box of my delicious Girl Scout cookies. Are they made from real Girl Scouts? Oh, Wednesdays at that very special age when a girl has only one thing on her mind. Boys. Homicide. Welcome to our table, our new primitive friends. Thank you, Sarah Miller. You are the most beautiful person I've ever seen. Your hair is the color of the sun. Your skin is like fresh milk. And everyone loves you. Stop! Sit. Wait. What? We cannot break bread with you. Huh? Becky, what's going on? Wednesday! You have taken the land which is rightfully ours. Years from now, my people will be forced to live in mobile homes, on reservations. Your people will wear cardigans and drink highballs. We will sell our bracelets by the roadsides. You will play golf and enjoy hot hors d'oeuvres. My people will have pain and degradation. Your people will have stick shifts. The gods of my tribe have spoken. They have said, do not trust the pilgrims, especially Sarah Miller. Gary, she's changing the words. And for all these reasons, I've decided to scalp you and burn your village to the ground. <laughs> Lassie, come home. The Little Mermaid. Stop it. You have betrayed the people of France. You are evil incarnate. How do you plead? Guilty. Guilty. By our own admission, the sentence is death. One. Two. Children, what are you doing in there? Playing. Three. Woe to the Republic. We're the honors and directors here at Camp Chippewa, America's foremost facility for privileged young adults. And we're all here to learn, to grow, and to just plain have fun! Because that's what being privileged is all about! <laughs> and you are late for your fittings. I don't want to be in the pageant. Don't you want to help me realize my vision? Your work is puerile and underdramatized. You lack any sense of structure, character, or the Aristotelian unities. Young lady, I am getting just a tad tired of your attitude problem. <gasps> Isn't she pretty? She's scaring me. your bathing suit is that your overbite now one of you will be the drowning victim and the other one gets to be our lifesaver i'll be the victim all your life 
I'm going to be an actress. Bravo! Now, Amanda, jump in. Swim out a few yards and start drowning. I can't swim. Wednesday? Yes, Mother? Could you run upstairs and check on your uncle, please? Every year on this date, we offer a clarion called Fester Adams. Stop it. May I have the salt? What do we say? Now. Hi. I'm Amanda Buckman. Why are you dressed like that? Like what? Like you're going to a funeral. Why are you dressed like somebody die? Wait. Are they dead? Does it matter? Pugsley, sit in the chair. Why? So we can play a game. What game? It's called... Is there a god? It has to warm up. Why? So it can kill you. I knew that. Children, what are you doing? I'm going to electrocute him. But we're late for the charity auction. But, Mother... I said no. Please? Oh, all right.